G'day viewers and welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week we've got something a little bit different with a pair of Tommy Tomica Dodge Coronet Customs of the variety that were released in blister packs at Kmart and Coles too I believe in the early 1980s. One of these was donated to me by my friend Nathan. Thank you Nathan, I know you gave it to me some time ago and it's been on my list of ones to do and then my work colleague and friend Jewel gave me this other one and then I thought well I've got two of them now that's as good an excuse as any I'm going to restore one back to factory and I'm going to do something a little bit different with the other one we'll see how we go let's get started now I actually remember to drill the pilot holes with the taps at the start this time so I was quite pleased with myself for remembering to do that I usually forget now these Tomicas the metal base they're a really quality toy when they came out and their proportions and details are always impressive like their scaling is is a lot better than some of their contemporaries in the 70s and 80s and Now you can see these wheels aren't exactly perfect, they're pretty worn out. And if I had the ability, I'd cast some new ones as some other people like Paul Restorer does some amazing work reproducing wheels and axles. I don't have those uh, abilities just yet. But thankfully, Tomica still make cars. They've just started selling these at Big W. Uh, there's one of them near me and guess what? they still use the same wheels they did in 1979 as they do on their 2020 models so that's good for us i'll be able to drill it apart use the wheels there's a few other little extras on there i might be able to use in my other custom we'll see how it goes okay so the axles are a fair bit thicker and a bit sturdier than the old ones but other than that they're exactly the same. These ones are a little bit larger, so I'll probably use them on the custom. And here we go with all the usual boring stuff that everybody loves in high speed so it doesn't punish you so bad. Now I have an unrestored one of these in my collection, that's where I got these photographs of the uh, stickers uh, to try and fix and make my own. They didn't really come out, the white didn't dry like it's supposed to again and they came out okay. I had better luck with my custom uh, job and you don't know if you don't try and if you don't give it a go, well you don't learn things do you? Anyway, you can be the judge. Well, you can probably see what direction I'm taking the custom in at this stage. Uh, fans of the Blues Brothers will recognise it. Now I'm just giving the cars a quick clear coat gloss them up a bit and seal the decals in. 
Now I'm using my Molotow pen this time because it gives you that really chrome finish like these used to have when they were new. Like that works really good these pens, they're amazing, I love them. Okay, it's reassembly time. Now I'm using a bit of white glue to glue this one in because I snapped one of the lugs off. They're supposed to just clip in, but I snapped one off when I was doing it because I'm a bit stupid. But that's okay, we made it work. Now I'd actually finished the custom Monaco and I was quite pleased with myself, it was looking good and I thought let's do the chrome around the windscreens, just jazzed up that little bit more and I completely stuffed it and I ended up having to completely strip this car and apply all the decals and repaint it again. So Peter, next time something's done and it's looking good and you think you can improve it, don't. So here we are back at the start with Nathan's Dodge Monaco and Jules Flea Market Fine Monaco. Thank you very much guys, I really appreciate it. I hope you like what I've done with them. Uh, although they're very well play worn, they both still had their dome top light. They both still had their plastic grills in place which they do snap off if you try hard enough. I know I did with mine when I was trying to turn it into a bluesmobile back in the 80s. But that's another story. And here's what we're left with now. Ta-da! So as you can see, the decals on the Fire Chief car didn't quite come out how I planned. The red it doesn't really match and the letters didn't go as wide as I'd like. But that's okay. I think it came out pretty good. And as for the other one, I think it came out super, even though I had to do it twice. But that's okay. We've learnt a few lessons about knowing your limits. And I think it's a fitting tribute to one of the best movies one of my favorite movies if you haven't seen it you're dead to me go and watch it the blues brothers it's a terrific movie it's full of great music and good car chases some of the best so anyway thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video really appreciate it hello to all my new subscribers so i hit 70 as of yesterday so that's really good thank you very much and thank you for the continued support of my regular subscribers who I say regular or anything but regular and I appreciate you all very much. Thank you. So if you've enjoyed watching this video and you've got a little bit more time on your hands, why not check out one of my other videos? And if you've really enjoyed it, I'd sure appreciate you subscribing. And don't forget to click the little bell so you can get alerts so you never miss a moment of the PB magic. It's the ride never ends. Anyway, it'll be Christmas soon. Stay safe and I will see you next week. Bye.